good morning friends today i would like to uh, take you through the uh, video and i welcome you all for this uh, to watch it also how to add uh, digital signatures or signatures to my um, google forms which i have created especially the question is and how to uh, save them also so that you are able to take care of it first and foremost what you will have to uh, take care is that you will have to move towards your google drive number 1 login to the gmail id of your and uh, move towards the google drive and open a blank uh, form as you all know to design your own um questionnaire now once you have opened it okay now my first advice would be that you should go to the settings uh, which you can find it out on your right hand side okay topmost and you can see there that yes uh, there are four to five symbols which are present like uh, you know you can see this is for add on then you have got the palette then the eye shape and then the flower kind of a thing click on settings okay number 1 number 2 if you want to go ahead and start off with the uh, title <coughs> the untitled form which is there or you can uh, give the title of your this thing out here either way you can do whichever you feel like and you can click on this one to get the heading now after that uh, start typing in with your uh, i should say the uh, questions that you want now i'm taking care of very few questions as of now so that i can show it to you that yes how to go ahead and add on uh, create the add on from the uh, g suite marketplace okay and then we will go ahead and check it out so here when you are saying where do you stay what is your name uh, where uh, choice this is yours what kind of a question you feel feel like now once i click on settings you see i need to uh, go ahead and first of all i would um, you know click on the collect email addresses the moment i check it out by clicking it you will see i'll be getting response receipts with a question mark check it out also and you will see the two things if respondent requested or always click on always it is better to give this option and we will see later on what is the use of it then go ahead required sign in definitely yes if they have got the google id or the gmail id they would be signing it with the help of their mail id and limit to one response only in this way the person will not get the chance to go ahead and submit one more response which i see um, maximum why maximum most of the time um, the scholars uh, have not checked in and so you know i get the option would you like to go ahead and submit so that shows the authenticity of your own and how well you are collecting your own data so click on this one which will help you to avoid uh, taking the multiple entries then you have got a uh, respondents can and the, the, click on see summary charts and text responses for their own thing if you want you click it if you think that no they don't require it so there is no need to do it go ahead and save it which you can see it on the top of the right hand side also again and you can uh, save the uh, these settings for your own questionnaire now here uh, i prefer to see the summary charts and text responses so that they are also aware of it so click save and you are back to this one now click on those three uh, uh, dots that you can see between my photograph and send click on add ons this will take you directly to the g suite marketplace uh, you can check it out there are so many applications are available for google docs for google forms for sheets uh, for slides everything here instead of searching one by one since i know that i am looking for this particular thing i will just key the word signature and you can see how many of the Uh, apps are available from different different uh, companies in G Suite marketplace. So I have selected signature, and you can see that first and foremost I get is this one. I click, and I first of all because I want to show you how to uh, proceed further with the installation process of this. So what I'll do uh, since I have already installed it in order to record this one, I'm installing it, and it will take few minutes for me to install uh, re uh, uninstall it. Sorry. So I'll go ahead. I will select. 
uh, signature once again and uh, you know since it has the process is not yet completed and me being an impatient person quickly i got into this particular uh, application so you can see what the reviews are and everything for example for this particular thing and in case you want to know more information you can even click on one of the website id that has been given and you will be directed to the company's uh, website you can see for more options now this is a paid one paid one in the sense the first one is absolutely free for your digital signature oh. <clears throat> as i'm taking you through all these things i would like to go ahead and uh, give you some more information first signature that you will take via this particular platform will be absolutely free and there are various options also which are available for us and that's the reason why i want to enter into this particular uh, application and check it out now since i cannot use the uh, company's id out here uh, my cousin uh, runs his own software uh, company and there i have seen they have have purchased it so i keep working however due to compliance reason i cannot utilize uh, his uh, domain absolutely so that's why i'm taking it up from my this thing and i'm showcasing to you you don't require a website however if you purchased it which is a, a, a very minimal amount uh, which i have already shared in my playlist uh, titled on g suite and it's not at all um, a lot of money that you have to spend on a monthly basis it is like going ahead and taking a pizza uh full pizza you know from dominos or pizza hut now here you will see that yes uh it has got it is giving you various instructions whether you would like to see it has been installed and complete additional setup now so you can click on it and you can proceed further and you will see that it will take you to their home page on your left hand side just below the home uh, i want you to have a look add single signature uh that means that your question it will go only with one single uh accept multiple signatures see pending ones get more signatures validate current form uh cancel signatures signing we mailed signing other signing multiple all these uh things are available now these are fabulous ones now i know when i design my own questionnaire uh you know and i'm floating it around via the mail how well i can i'm able to use them now if you have purchased it there are certain discounts and uh, sometimes they give you the leverage of receiving uh, uh you know multiple uh, i should say signatures or the multiple forms with signatures absolutely free and they last for 250 to 300 also otherwise you'll have to spend around 2 cent or 3 cent per form you know and these are again very good and if you are able to, uh, to get them and i'm sure uh, with the questionnaire that you have got um and the, uh, the i mean what i want to say is that it will add richness to your own uh, research also so you can see email them uh, they have got the complete thing i'm not taking you through because my main purpose right now is to showcase to you as to what all options we have got uh in g suite um in order to go ahead with the digital signature and make them valid for you now i'm just looking for i came to know through somebody that yes google is coming up with even uh, multiple language signatures for example somebody is uh, you are designing your questionnaire in hindi language so you can take the signatures in hindi also it is also available uh, not in this i haven't tried it um, however there are other websites which are uh, present and digital signatures in hindi telugu uh, kannada bengali kashmiri all these languages are available and you can see even gurmukhi i have seen that and i was very amazed to see that yes that really makes and um, there is one more thing that yes uh, once the form is submitted which you will see later on as i'm taking through these one you can restrict and the person cannot go ahead and submit one more response if he does he she or she um, he or she does it <clears throat> you will see that company will okay here that is three signatures for free every month so you can keep trying it and you can uh, take up these are your signatures which you can do however legal implications are there so i want you to spend at least 24 hours time on this particular website in order to know how to use it how to take care of it also and maybe in future i might uh, go into depth of it however right now i'm not entering into it so they have given you quite a lot of things to understand as to how to go ahead and add the signatures to your own questionnaire that is the google form and that is the best part which i have seen and uh, it's very easy it's not at all difficult for us and along with the dates you will be getting the information and uh, in case you want to capture 
uh, the IP address of the person who has uh, uh, filled up that form that is also very easy and maybe in one of my um, videos I will even show you how to capture whether the multiple forms have been submitted from the same one uh, is it from the same person or from different and if they are different then what happened to their signatures those things are also there and which you can nicely take care of it and you can cancel signatures you can accept the signatures you can enable response receipts which you are getting it in line signature so you can see how many uh, options the company has given to you and these are all under the legal uh, formalities now if you go ahead there is one more tab wherein you can understand as to how the legalities are also taking place once um, the respondent is giving you their signatures if they are trying to fool you they cannot go ahead and the restrictions i have showed you along with the setting makes you and this is the reason why on the other day when somebody asked the questions regarding the signatures and uh, you know i thought okay let me go ahead so now it is installed so i'm coming back i'm clicking on this one to just to see whether i'll be able to uh, take care of it or not there is a process in which this has to take place and i'll be showcasing to you in my other uh, video wherein how to uh, go ahead and start the application for yourself so that you are able to um, run the uh, entire uh, process with the signatures also and how it is taking place now here again you will see that i'm just struggling out to see if i can get the signatures on this or not because i was running short of the uh, space in my google um, this particular uh, mail id therefore i cannot otherwise uh, you can go ahead you can look into the signature so i'm showing you all the options which are available for you and how well you can take care so here form with the so here this means once you are getting it it gives you report and issue what is taking place all these things are available and if you have got the administrator especially when you have purchased the g suite marketplace uh, product itself um, you know you can see how well uh, these things can be utilized for your own research purposes and it is a marvelous tool which i really like it also so uh, you know you can uh, see that yes um you have got these things then signing a document they have given you uh, various uh, processes you can watch them on the video how to get a single signature how to accept multiple signatures for example i have uh, floated around my questionnaire designed via the google form and i have mailed it across to 50 people let's say now <clears throat> you have got the option <clears throat> Uh, you have got the option wherein you can uh, showcase to them that yes uh, 50 people from uh, let's say i'm moving from university to university or from college to college how to create a uh, certain um, uh, you know accepting uh, declarations those things are also available uh, and makes your uh, again research very good one now here you can see that yes once i validate the current form so the various processes are present for us validating the Uh, form then accepting a, sig a single signature accepting multiple signatures from the respondents um, you know and how i'm giving the leverage what kind of restrictions i can put on the respondents so that uh, you know i'm not being fooled so all these things are available and we can see now here they are asking us that yes on responses i'm supposed to do certain thing and uh, you know which i'm not showcasing out here however in my last last mail uh, mail i'm saying last video of mine you will see that yes these things also will be taken care as to what exactly is the process for utilizing this particular app now since i have got some restrictions out here therefore i'm not able to take care of it immediately once i log in with the help of the g suite marketplace uh, id then i'll show you how to go ahead now here i just go i can use uh, send this form via mail or as a link so i'm just sending it to myself just to check and test that yes whatever i have sent it across this is the first step that even you need to do it and uh, you know send it across so if it is a dummy kind of a thing it will not work you have to give them the uh, actual mail ids itself so i'm just going to click on it and check it out whether i have received yes form with the digital signatures i have received it so let me go ahead and see how i can uh, fill it up now here you will see this is the first 
first time that the respondent would be receiving it here i have not added out the signature option so it is just give my mail id then my full name and where do you stay you can even write uh, you know whether rural urban or regions you can add and then you're it is saying you're submitting the information to an external page that's fine now here you can respond now can you see yes it has given to you you can respond and submit the form so this is how you will come to know that yes the person is submitting and that is the importance of the settings which we have seen in the um, google form itself so i'm going to end up here let me come back to another video wherein i'm showing to you as to how to proceed further with the signatures till then thanks and take care bye